Hey everybody, uh, Mangrove Mike Riles Riley here. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody back that was with us on the uh, Lost in Itchkalak uh, video. Welcome back. I want everybody to um, relax, take it easy, quit worrying. I have found angler Jeff Lothamer, uh, Skippy, and I have rescued him uh, from Cancun. You know, we just finished a little uh, fishing trip uh, for baby tarpon in Isla Holbosch, Mexico. And I wanted to do a little uh, preview of the trip here before we get into the video um, and share some things with you. Uh, it was a good trip. Uh, the fishing was a little tough. Um, you know how it is. Your expectations are always high when you go on these trips. Um, you know, the, the weather, it's always windy. Uh, we got blown out a couple days, cold front come through. Uh, spooky fish, bad moon phase, you know, everything like that. Um, it was a tough um, trip to catch. We did catch good fish, and uh, one of the reasons why uh, was a particular fly we used called the gringo fly, and it was named that um, by our guide Rooster uh, because it's red and white. Uh, we said it should be called the rooster fly because roosters are red and white. Um, Rooster didn't buy that, and so right now, uh, yeah, we're building the wall, and uh, Mexico's going to pay for it. But um, I want to show you how to tie the fly. Uh, it's a real easy uh, uh, fly to tie, three simple steps. Um, once you have the first two steps done, a craft fur tail and an EP um, uh, three-inch craft fur brush uh, tied on the hook, You've got a great middle body, and you can finish that fly off any way you want. You can spin a little deer hair head on there. It makes a great tarpon slider. We finished it off with some uh, EP uh, minnow head brush, uh, put a couple uh, mirage eyes on it, a real simple uh, minnow pattern. And um, I want to thank uh, Luciano, uh, the manager of Isla Holbosch Fly Fishing Lodge. He had a fly tying station, let us um, use it. And I want to thank uh, angler Jeff Lothamer. He brought the materials down necessary to uh, tie the fly. I only had two of them, and they were pretty chewed up. And so ang um, angler Jeff showed up with uh, the materials, and it really saved the day. This little fly um, in the red and white, um, always be sure to have some red and white, plenty of it in your fly box. Um, the little baby tarpon just ate it up. It not only got their attention, but it got the grab. And when, when fishing is tough, um, that's what you need is a go-to fly. Uh, we had hoped to um, do a little test with three hooks. The owner Aki hook, which I, I love. Uh, it's done really well for tarpon and Belize. Uh, the Varvarius hook and the uh, Gamakatsu SC-15. We used the SC-15 because it was light wire um, for baby tarpon. If you're going for big tarpon, you're going to have to go up to their big game hook. We wanted to get some data to see which hook after it got the grab, it landed the fish the most, but we didn't uh, collect enough data to, to really tell which hook was uh, uh, the best. But all these hooks performed, um, in our case, well over 80% once, once we got the, uh, the grab, uh, didn't lose many fish. So wish we'd have got uh, a, you know, a lot more fish to, to give us the grab, but you know sometimes that's the way fishing is. So. Uh, I want to show you how to tie the fly, and then after that, the next time you see us, we'll be on a skiff uh, pitching the gringo to some uh, baby tarpon. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, here's how the gringo works. I've got the uh, thread already started on the hook. I'm going to tie in a little clump here of, um, of white craft fur. You can tie the gringo in any color but it won't be a gringo if it's not in red and white. But you can vary the color of the fly and um, make a fly that's suitable for a lot of different situations. Maybe they want black and purple or something else. I had this particular fly tied in a lot of different colors, but only two in the red and white and that is what they wanted on this particular trip. I like to tie in two clumps of craft fur because craft fur 
when it gets wet it can kind of shrink up to nothing um, minnows are kind of small but I don't want it to be so small that it disappears from the fish so I like to tie in a second clump gives the fly a little more body makes it a little a little heftier minnow and tie a couple clumps in just like that secure it down now I'm ready for the second step which is the minnow head or the uh, the EP craft fur brush I'm sorry it's a real nice material it's got everything in it you need it, um, it has a, a nice amount of flash tarpon like flash but then sometimes they don't want flash and this material seems to have just the right amount of flash but not so much that it's obtrusive and spooks the fish as I as I wrap the uh, craft fur brush forward on the fly I try to fold the material back towards the tail and get everything going back towards the tail I also like to take, as I do these wraps, my bodkin and fluff the uh, fibers that can get trapped, fluff them out so they get a chance to swim and do their thing um, for the gringo fly. Um, it's an easy fly to tie. You can tie them real quick. And that's the nice thing about the gringo at this step I've got a nice um, a real nice structure here and a real nice minnow body and I've taken a lot of flies at this point and um, have spun a nice little deer hair head in the front it makes a great tarpon slider like I said I've uh, I've come to uh, spun some deer hair on there tighter and um, palmered some uh, hackle through there and made a nice sh shrimp with some bead chain eyes works real nice but in this case for the real gringo fly we're just gonna finish it off with some EP minnow head brush and that's what was working on this trip. I'm going to fluff these fibers back like this. Sweep them back. You can see that nice minnow body. I'm going to tie in the minnow head, the EP minnow head brush. It also has a nice um, flash material in it. And I think the baby tarpon like this red. Um, give them a nice target again I'm folding these feathers back or fibers back as I'm tying uh, wrapping this material on and like I said I've used these uh, materials with uh, deer hair and the combination of uh, natural material and the synthetic materials I really like in this case it's all synthetic for the um, gringo fly but don't be afraid to combine these materials with uh, natural materials uh, because it really you can really get some cool results make a couple wraps here and I like to use some crappy scissors not my good scissors to trim uh, these EP brush materials so they got a little bit of wire 
in the brushes and so if you use your crappy scissors you won't ruin your nice ones and that's what I do I'm gonna finish the head out here sweep the materials back and um, do a quick whip finish with my uh, Artelli whip finish tool and that is the basis for the gringo fly what I like to do is tie these up in the vise um, tie these all up in the vise first maybe I'll tie 10 or 12 or however many I think I might need yeah, one or two they are pretty durable flies after I get done tying them up I like to take them out of the vise to secure the eyes and uh, and stamp and, and stamp the fly to finish the fly off and um, in this case I'm just going to do it right here in the vise but I like to stamp the tail I'll stamp one side with a waterproof prismatic marker now I'll switch it over here and I'll do the other side if you squeeze the fibers of the tail together it bars real nice and I think you can kind of see that there the last thing we do is I also prefer to do this out of the vise is I'll set the eyes and I use Mirage eyes because Mirage eyes allow me to have one set of eyes and I can put them on any color fly and I don't know why but there's something about the Mirage eyes they blend in with every color of fly and so it allows you to make a, a lot of different colors with just one set of eyes and I like the Zappa Gap gel to, to, to secure the eyes it goes on there it doesn't run everywhere and put the eye on and I'll take a bodkin and mash it down and that eye is set in place for the rest of its life I'm going to turn it over here in the vise once again apply the gel comes out real nice and it stays right there I can't say enough about that Zappa Gap gel because I've struggled with a lot of other glues before I found it and that makes it nice and I flop the eye on there and it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not I can take my bodkin and then I'll mash it in to where I want it to be for the rest of its life and um, sets up quick and right there that's the finished gringo and that's a sweet little minnow fly you can tie this fly in all different colors but the gringo it is a red and white fly and that's a baby tarpon killer right there in this case I finished it off in the vise and you can do that let's go through this thing at some tarpon and see what happens <laughs> 